This is for the Ethics Review class at Parker University. The 13th rule that I want to mention just very briefly is the rule that requires facilities registration. Texas allows people who are not licensed as chiropractors to own chiropractic clinics and to employ chiropractors. In most professions and in most states, that type of situation would not be allowed. Someone who is not licensed is usually not allowed to receive profits from that profession. So for example, a law firm in Texas cannot be owned by somebody who is not a lawyer. Um, because owners of chiropractic clinics may not be licensed chiropractors, the board adopted a rule several years ago to require facility registration. I think the intent behind the registration was to help the board identify who the owners are, to give the board an opportunity to conduct background checks on those owners, and to discipline those owners if they were bullying their doctors into do engaging in inappropriate contact, conduct. Um, certainly there are situations that have occurred where newly graduated doctors or doctors who are not very strong doctors have been bullied or pressured by their, their non-licensed owners to do things that are inappropriate, perhaps excessive treatment, perhaps inappropriate coding and billing uh, to help boost the profits at the expense of the patient. I think this is something the board will have to watch for going forward as this facility registration is going away. And I think the board's opinion is that the doctor is personally responsible for the treatment provided and the doctor is personally responsible for standing up to the owner if the owner is asking them to do something inappropriate. So from now until September 1st of 2017, chiropractic facilities will need to continue to be registered. If a renewal is needed between now and then, the renewal must be made. But after September 1st, it should no longer be necessary to register chiropractic facilities. They still need to have a licensed chiropractor to treat patients, but the, but the facility will no longer need to be registered.